Hello Pisces, this is your reading, you versus them for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Let's see. Pisces issues with this relationship in the past. Please show me Pisces issues with this relationship in the past. Three of Pentacles. I think you guys felt like you were doing all of the work. Okay. Like you were holding it together. You were the glue, basically. Okay. Capricorn energy there. What was the other person's issues with this relationship? The Page of Wands. I kind of feel like this person just did not take this relationship as seriously as um, you guys did here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there with the Page of Wands. I'm feeling more Aries energy, but um, they didn't take it as seriously as you guys did. Okay, what's keeping Pisces from this person? What's keeping Pisces from this person? King of Wands. I think you guys have grown for one. And I think that um, you've changed. Okay. You're more secure in who you are. You're standing in your power. And you're no longer willing to carry all the weight by yourself. You're not willing to be in a relationship by yourself any longer. Okay. You need the Six of Pentacles here. Reciprocity. And I think, you know, the fact that you feel like, you know, you were basically in this situation by yourself is really deterring you from revisiting the situation. What's keeping this person from Pisces? What's keeping this person from Pisces? The Three of Swords. They know they've hurt you. They know, you know, they stirred up a lot of disappointment um, in your life in general. And I mean, there's a possibility that there was a three party relationship here with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords that maybe they, you know, they weren't working with you well because they probably could have been working with someone else too. Um, so they, they know that there's a level of hurt that they caused you. Okay? It's almost like cowering. You know, when you know you've done wrong um, and just not really wanting to take accountability for your actions in the situation. What's currently going on for Pisces? What's currently going on for Pisces? We have the Hermit here. I feel like you guys have been in isolation for one thing. Let's see if I can pull this down a little bit. Um, you've been in isolation for one thing, but and I think you just needed some time to yourself to regroup, you know, get yourself together. Um, and I think you're looking for the one, and I think you know exactly what that entails and what that means now for you. You're looking for the one. Virgo energy there. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? The Six of Swords. I feel like they're trying to move on. Um, you know, they could be involved with someone currently. But I feel like if they are, this is more to to take their mind off of this connection. Sometimes people need to get under somebody to get over somebody, and I'm just being frank with you. Um, but I don't, I don't see like a level of seriousness here. I feel like it's they've been having a good time or trying to have a good time 
to kind of get things off of their mind. But I don't feel that it works, to be honest with you. Because when I, I feel like when they go to sleep at night, that um, this connection, whatever happened between you guys, it still bothers this person. Okay. So don't feel bad because I feel like not they're not being haunted like literally but I feel that um, they constantly think about what transpired okay and the fact that they may have lost something that was um, could have been very very good okay they think about they think about what what they've done a lot I feel okay whether they're with someone or not <clears throat> let's see what's influencing Pisces here what's influencing Pisces what's influencing Pisces the seven of Pentacles yeah I feel that um, you guys think about how you know you were carrying the weight of the relationship on your shoulders you were doing it you felt like you were in a relationship by yourself and I feel like what's influencing you now is the fact that you only want to invest in situations and people that you feel like can reciprocate what it is that you give them okay you're looking to build not only yourself but a relationship to that Ten of Pentacles energy where you feel stable and grounded and committed and it's something that you can hang your hat on. You know, you're looking for that type of relationship and you're not settling for less. Okay. I feel you guys looking towards the future. Okay. Regardless of the hurt that you felt, look at the Six of Pentacles under there. This is what you're seeking. Okay. No more being by myself and, and carrying this relationship and trying to make things right when I know things are so very wrong. Okay. Let's see. What's influencing the other person? The Nine of Swords. What did I tell you? Mm hmm This person's hurt. Trust and believe. Okay. And I, I feel that they hide behind other people, going out, drinking, traveling, um, working. They, they do a lot of things during the day to keep their mind busy. But at night, it catches up. And um, I even feel like during the day, if they're at work, they it hits them then too. They can't escape it. Okay. Gemini Aquarius energy here. They think the worst. This person really wants to get back. They really want to get back into your good graces. Is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> What's coming in for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune. This is also um, this is Jupiterian energy. Your energy, uh, Sagittarius energy. This is also the card of, of the the husband um like venus is like you know love and relationships a wife and um but this is like yeah this is this is karma this is karma this is your destiny i feel your destiny we have nine now we have ten you guys are definitely progressing um, definitely changing. I feel like you're walking right into your onto your path and who you are going to be with. You're walking right towards who you guys are going to be with. I feel. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? This person is doing a lot of thinking now here. And more thinking. Justice. Hmm. Mm hmm What's coming in for them is justice. And we see justice falling right under the Nine of Swords. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you know, if you're trying to get away with something, and this goes for anybody, I'm just speaking in general, um, and, and trying to avoid making something right, 
the universe will make it right. God will make it right. Okay. And I feel that this person is being faced with whatever they have done. And they can't escape. They, they are caught in their head, I feel, most days. And they don't know how to escape it. And that may be the justice in this situation. Um, just the, the nagging thoughts. Because there's a lesson I feel like that has not been learned here. Something needs to be made right. Whether it's an apology, acknowledgement, um, something here. Something is amiss. And this person's not seeing it is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see. What's the advice for Pisces? What's the advice for Pisces? Advice for Pisces. Look at that. You have the Hermit and now you have the Star. Follow your path. Go with the flow of the universe. You feel it. I know you do. Continue to heal. Continue to progress. Continue to do what you know is right. What you feel is right. Continue to share the love. Okay? Continue to follow your path. Invest in that. Invest in yourself. Your healing. What is the advice for the other person? What would be the advice for the other person? What would be the advice for the other person? If they were listening, the King of Swords is to speak their truth. Okay? The King of Swords is always honest. The King of Swords addresses issues. Okay? I feel like this the advice would be for them to face the issue, to address the issue. Do what's right. Do what's right. A lot of air here. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. What's the outcome for hmm? What's the outcome for Pisces? Cards gonna jump for you, Pisces. What's the outcome for Pisces? What's the outcome for Pisces? Hmm. Lovers. I see this coming. The lovers. Gemini energy. Aquarius. Taurus. Capricorn. Virgo. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. Gonna have a choice to make. Gonna have a choice to make. I feel that you guys are gonna have um, some opportunities opening up for you. Honestly, in the way of love, I really do. I don't think there's gonna be one person that um, is vying for your attention. I think you're changing, and I think you know it. I think you feel it. Um, I think you guys are definitely healing. I think you're confident. And um, you're opening up um, avenues and pathways for yourself here. That's what's going on. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see what the outcome for them is. What is the outcome for this person? What's the outcome for this person? What's the outcome for this person? The Nine of Cups. You know, this, they need to do what makes them happy. Um, but I, I see that they are, I feel like they are um, only concerned, they're not seeing the bigger picture is what I'm getting here. 
I don't see this person seeing the bigger picture. I see them putting a band-aid on this situation, on their hurt, on their disappointment, what they've done in this situation, um, how they're probably not happy. I see them putting a band-aid on it by doing other things to divert their attention from how they're really feeling here. That's what I see with the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords energy. Mm -mm. I see them really putting a band-aid. Especially with the Six of Swords, I feel like they're entertaining, but they're, I feel like this person is using some other avenue to escape the hurt that they feel behind the loss with you guys here. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. They really want you guys. I just have to say that. They want you guys. They just don't know how to go about it. There's something that they are definitely not seeing. Something is amiss here. Okay. Alright guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.